Hi, everyone. I'm Master Coach Gretchen Heido, and I love working with coaches. One of the questions I get asked all the time is, Gretchen, how do I get ready for a connection call? So let's talk about what is a connection call. Sometimes these calls are called discovery calls. Sometimes they're called connection calls. And sometimes they're called free touch point calls. But for this purpose, we're going to talk about a connection call. And so a connection call is going to be the first time you are getting to know a potential client. You want to be able to get into their background, really figure out what it is that they're stuck on and how coaching might help. So there's a few things that I like to do and that I'm going to teach you to do today on how to have a successful connection call. So the first thing you want to do is be a detective. Learn as much as possible as you can about the potential client that you're going to be speaking to. Facebook and LinkedIn are really great places to do that. And then secondly, you're going to send an email. And in this email, what you want to do is ask them questions about what are they trying to create? What's hard about that? What have they already tried? What are they wanting this year? And where do they feel stuck? The reason that those are good questions is it gives you a jumping off point for the connection call and to really help this potential client to see that A, you're a professional and B, that this is a serious business. It also gives you a little bit of insight into who this person is and what they might be hoping for. Now, during the meeting with this potential client, what you're going to do is you're going to ask them these questions, even though they've already emailed you the answer. You want to go deeper, not just to what was on paper, but also to the things that they haven't necessarily said yet. So if someone comes to me, I'll say, hey, Gretchen, really nice getting the answers to your email. Thank you so much for taking the time to do that. You know, I'm really curious about whatever it is. You said that you're interested in writing a book in 2024. Tell me more about that. They're going to say whatever they're going to say. What have you tried? Where do you feel stuck? What are some of the other things that you're wanting this year? And the key to this conversation is really slowing down and staying out of your head. You know, if you start worrying about, does this person like me? Am I doing it right? You might drop into your social self rather than your professional self. And we always want to be a professional in this where we are serving. And so as you're getting the information Dig deeper, make references into what it is that you're hearing. Why is this important to them? So Gretchen, I hear that you want to write this book because it's been something that's been in your heart since you were seven. You have this great love and desire to help coaches to be able to get to their next level of success, and you want to do work that matters. Do I have that right? So that's going to help you to dig deeper and to reflectively listen their words back. Now, you want to ask a lot of open-ended questions. You want to be able to get to know them and to really figure out what it is that makes them tick. And then towards the end of this potential client call, what you want to say is, you know, Gretchen, I've asked you a lot about you today, and I have a great grasp on what it is that you're wanting to accomplish and I'm wondering, what kind of questions do you have for me? And what this is going to do is this is going to turn the question back to them, and it's going to open the floor and set the stage for them to ask you questions like, how do you work? What do you charge? When would we coach? Tell me more. Will this work for me? Whatever it is that they're worrying about. Now, here's a key to this. If a client says, how do you work and what do you charge? Don't jump into the logistics right away. What you want to do instead is say something like, I'm so glad that you asked, but I have a few requirements for all of my clients. Can I share those with you? And then what you might do is tell them what your requirements are. So here's mine. The first one is that you're committed. You know, coaching is more than just a commitment to your resources. It's a commitment to change. It's a commitment to your time. And it's a commitment to really following through on some of the things that we're going to do during coaching. The second one is that you're ready. Only you know if this is a good time for things to change in your life. You know, we never know what else might be going on in a potential client's world. And then the third is that we coach. 
that today we were just getting to know each other. We were making sure that this was a good fit and that what you're needing is coaching versus something else. I'm hearing that it is a good fit, but before I bring on any potential client and offer them a seat on my coaching calendar, I like to make sure that we coach first. That way you get the coaching experience. Potential clients are usually blown away that you're going to do that. But what this does is it enables you to make sure that they're really a good fit for you. It takes the questions out of their head of, well, like, what are we even going to do? What am I paying for? And it helps them to feel more secure in the coaching process. Now, they might have questions about money because everybody does. So if they ask you about money, you can answer. And what you're going to say is something like tuition for this program is state your price and then be quiet. Now, you might want to say, but for you, I'll give you a 10% discount or for you, it's going to be this other thing. Don't say that. Just let it sit with them. Your clients are going to be usually nervous about the price. Everybody is, and that's okay. So don't jump in there. Just make that highest recommendation and then leave room for that coaching experience. You're going to get some client objections. They might even say things like, well, that's a lot of money. You don't want to argue with them about it being a lot of money. Instead, you say it is. And I wouldn't want you to do it unless you were 100% sure that it was going to work for you. So let's coach. Set up that coaching session. At the end of that coaching session, they're going to ask you some more questions. And that's where you're going to get to see, you know, is this a client now or is this a potential client later? But that's the way that you prepare for a really successful connection call that can lead to the coaching um, conversation, which can lead to a proposal. All right, everybody, I'm wishing you great success. Happy coaching.